Let's get to our ETF spotlight this morning. Dom Chu is taking a look at the financials, trying to rebound after underperformance last week. Dom. All right, so David, markets are fractionally lower, just ticking to the upside to start the day. The financials have been a focus over the course of that short and medium term. And over the course of the past week, the financial sector is the second worst performer within the S&P 500. Only real estate has done worse than that span. Now, there has been quite a bit of a divergence within the sector where traditional banks are faring a little bit worse than, say, insurance companies. Now, the Spider S&P Bank ETF, that ticker KBE, which tracks a lot of the more equally weighted banks, really the stocks out there, you can see they're down about 2% during that one span. Meanwhile, right, you got the Spider S&P Insurance ETF, that ticker KIE, it's worth around $800 million. It tracks an equally weighted set of insurance companies, and that fund is up by about 1.5% during that same span. It's hard to say whether or not there's a larger sector rotation happening. Relative strength, though, within just the financials has been seeing those insurers win out over the banks. Now, the interest rate plays a part in this whole thing. Ten-year U.S. Treasury note yields have been trending higher over the course of the last three to four weeks. And some traders will be watching to see if this performance divergence within financials, banks and insurers, continues to widen during that span, given the interest rate picture. Back over to you guys, Carl.